Alright, what do we do you guys remember what we talked about yesterday? No. Um No, I don't. Verbal fraction. Do what? What um like the letter. Yeah, we use the letters of variables, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we did patterns with more than one variable, so some some looked like A B O C equals C. Yeah. Remember doing that yesterday? Yeah. And then we plugged in, we substituted those, so A equals two, B equals three. And then we plug those into this order, right? Yeah. Do these equal the same thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go on and we're going to start talking about substitution. I like what we did yesterday. Okay. What would you guys get for number one? Eleven. Nine, what do you get for two? Fifteen. Deja, three. Nine. Nine. Javon. Number four. 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 Brandon, five. Six. Uh, Shadima, number six. Nine. Nine. Deja, seven. Eight. Eight. Um, Javon, number eight. Eighty one. What? Yep. Eighty one. Number nine. Brandon. What? Number eight should be eighty one. Um, Where'd you say, Brandon? Three. Uh, Deja, number ten. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, Javon, number eleven. What is that? Eight times what gives you 32? Four. Page 51. Huh? And then Brandon, number 12. Nine. Does anybody remember what substitution was from their vocab? Nope. Anybody? What do you mean? What is substitution? Check out your vocab. Is it on there? It's only proper fraction. Is it proper fraction? Okay. What is substitution? Anybody see this? Anybody what? Anybody see this? Not too late. Substitution is an important concept to understand when working with variables. This is what we did yesterday. We took these numbers and substituted them for these letters. Okay? We will use substitution to replace a variable. Just like we did. We replace that variable with that number. Okay? Uh, we already have done this as a way to check our general statements. Is this a general statement? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so example one shows substitution in a problem where only one value makes the statement true. Let's turn on that. X times 8 equals 72. Nine. If we substitute the given value for M, you want to use 9, Deja? 9 plus 0 equals 9. 2 plus 0 equals 2. So you can put any number in there. Remember we discussed this yesterday? You can put any number in there, and you're still going to get the same answer. Okay. Oops. Okay, if x equals 2 and y equals 4... Does this make a true statement? Yep. Six and six. Yep. Six equals six. 
Is this a true statement? Yep. What's each side going to equal? Three and six. Mm -hmm. three they they, they already have a common denominator, right? Three oh. and three. No. So three over three, three equals what? Where's three over three? One. One. Adding decimals, what do we get? Ten. What did you say, Deja? Dot ten. Yep, point ten. On both sides? Uh-huh. Point ten. That says one point. Well, yeah, they carried. Point. <laughs> so, point ten was wrong. That was my mistake. Because when we write it, line this one up. Oh, the two. Bring your decimal straight down. Zero. Carry your one. That was my fault. Maybe Daisha should be teacher. Come on now, G. Something. Two Wrong talk today. Hmm? What? Because what is wrong with talk today? I don't know what it is. You're all hyped up. Oh. You're in trouble. Oh, yeah. I got a trouble. I got a boogie hyped up. Okay. I'm gonna I got a trouble. Let's look at our apply skills. Apply skill one. Page 52, right? Yep. Yeah. What is the value of x in x plus 12 equals 15? x would equal? 5. 5. How did you figure that out? You just see Probably. what 12 goes with 17. I don't know. Yeah. You can take 12. You can probably use your fingers if you want. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep. 5. 5. So 5 plus 12 equals 17. Good. What's A? 8. If we plug 8 in for A, we get 8 times 7 gives us 56. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. What's B? 5. Okay, so in this one, you're going to ask yourself, what times 9 is going to give me 45? 5. 5. 5. What about the next one? What's Z? I don't know. I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, minus uh, 2718. 27 minus what gives you 18? 9. Wait. I asked, did you, do you Nine. minus? Oh, I didn't hear you, Nine. Yeah, you could. So you can take 20, this is what Daisha has. Could you take 27 minus 18? Yeah, I know. I know, I'm showing you. I know, I'm showing everybody so they understand how to get it. You guys are both correct. 39 plus 47, what does that equal? What? 86. 86? 86. Is she right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I said 36. What about D? Zero. No. So, one. Add 25 and 25. 50. It says minus. Yeah. But it's 50. you got to add these two because this number has to be bigger than this one to subtract. So we have to take 50 minus 25 to get 25. Seven. Seven. What is seven? Seven. Oh, my back. Y equals seven. seven. Five times seven is 35. Oh. All right, let's go on. And you have another part. Is there two parts to apply skills? Yeah. All right, let's look at the next part for apply skills. That's where we're going to start substituting. Plus y plus z equals y plus z plus x. That's our general 
is that? What is what, what? It's our general what? We call that. I don't, I don't know. Ask. Can you tell me what it's be? General starts with an S. Statement. Statement. Okay, so they're telling us that x equals 5, y equals 6, and z equals 10. Now we gotta plug them in. We're gonna write them on these lines. So we got 5 is y. Is true. Plus 6 plus, plus 10, 10 equals 10. 6 plus 10 plus 5. Okay, we got to fill them. They're telling us where to write, so we've got to take y and put it here, z, and x. Okay, so what's 5 plus 6? 11. 11 plus 10? 21. 21. Does second equal 21? True. Yep. So on the lines, if the statement true or false, you can put a t on that line. <laughs> What are you questioning, Brandon? Brandon, did you say what? What are you questioning? Someone else can we ask you a question if you have one. You're understanding that? Ah, it's no, it's true. Good. We already know. He's asking for extra help. So we added these together. We got 11. Plus this is 10, or plus this is 21, so we got 21 here. This is 16 plus 5, which would be 21. So 21 and 21, they equal each other. So that's how we got true. Okay. All right, go ahead and do number two on your own. Can you help me? Nope. Do it on your own. Nope. Okay. 
substituted for the variable each problem. Uh, we did this on our skill maintenance. So A would be what in number one? Three. Three. So you're right, A equals three. Activity two, for each of the general statements, substitute, the va substitute values for the variables and tell the, st the statements true or false. So you can come up with what you want to use for X and Y. And then you're going to plug it into that formula. Okay. Okay. Do we do one on the board? Yes. Okay. No. Do we have a formula? That's what I was going to say. easy. Oh, my knee. Don't say that. Don't stop. Don't. One times a number equals a number. No, do a different one. That was I know. Easy. That's what I said. That was easy. What? What are you talking about? You said number four. Well, which, well, which one? An activity two. What times four gives you? No, you're gonna take eight times four. Four. Eight oh, times four. <laughs> and then that's gonna give you why. Um. Okay. Number one, activity two. If x equals six and y equals seven, now we need to plug it into the formula they gave us. Six plus seven equals seven plus six. Do we want to see the same answer again? Okay. Four to four. From number one on activity two. Okay, hold on. Six plus seven is what? Thirteen. Seven plus six? Thirteen. True or false? True. Flip it over in the back. <laughs> activity, activity three, you are not doing. Activity four. You are solving, all right, like every day. Okay. Okay. Raise your hand if you have any questions. Yes, sir. What did you say about x equals two? Two. Yes. Number one's on the board. X equals six, y equals seven, and then you're gonna plug it into that formula. So I'm just writing, right? Huh? I'm writing it. 